Welcome back Saber fans, Tony here from Rowan Sabers, and today another update video for you. If you're new to the channel, I do install, repair, and review these sabers, so please like, comment, and subscribe. I also have a website, RowanSabers.com, where you can find my finished products and sound fonts. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out the link in the description below. So here we have the Emperor's Hand um, by Korriban. This is their Mara Jade inspired lightsaber. Now the customer here um, actually received it and bought it from Korriban, and there are several problems that he ran across. Um, a lot of fonts were missing tracks, quotes, um, different blade styles were not correct. The usual stuff for Korriban. And so um, for buyers that are wanting to buy from Korriban, I just say use caution. Um, sometimes they're decent installs, sometimes they're not. In this case, it was not. When I received the saber, the speaker was hanging out of the chat and the board was not glued down correctly as well so um, and the sensitivity was really really bad if you ignited the saber it instantly started clashing and so um, the chassis system itself and the wiring isn't that bad at all um, it actually is installed very very nicely this is a goth 3d chassis designed specifically for that hilt um, so I had to re-glue the board re-glue the speaker um, other than that not really the only other thing that was kind of confusing to me is that they soldered it up to use data 4 instead of data 2 when they coded the saber and so I kind of had to kind of just code it that way instead of just using like the normal data 2 that I usually do for accents or crystal reveals and so um, which is very tedious I guess for any installer to come across but anyways you've got um, two buttons here power and aux these were switched originally so the aux was on top and power was on bottom I've now coded it so the power is up top and aux is on bottom just how I like it and then of course you got a stock connector in there the echo version and then you got I think it's like a stock connector in there that has buttons attached and the uh, stock connector and so yeah the customer here wanted to change fonts the Mary Jade font that initially starts off this that was commissioned by Korriban was red um, for those that don't know Mary Jade's character. Mara Jade's has a purple lightsaber, and so it didn't really make sense that they were advertising the saber to be Mara Jade's lightsaber and had the fan art and the purple lightsaber and stuff, but then have a red blade coated to it. So I went back in and made a custom blade style for it because the purple that Fetu 63 has is more of a, a darker purple, and Mara Jade has like a pinkish purple to it. So I ended up going back in there and making my own custom kind of pink blade style for it for Mara Jade herself. And so of course he wanted me to change up a lot of blade styles and update it. He did have a few requests which I'll go through. So without further ado, let's show you off the fonts. Alright, another thing to note is that this hilt is extremely small. Um, not that I don't mind it, small hilts are kind of cool, um, but for Mara Jades I expected it to be a bit bigger or longer, and so, um, yeah, just something worth mentioning. Um, I know SP Sabres has his available right now, which I've been thinking about purchasing, um, because, yeah, Mara Jade. But, so yeah, first up is the Emperor's Hand by Kyberphonic. This was specifically made for Korribanth, um, for this lightsaber, and so, yeah. This is the custom pinkish, uh, purple blade style that I made. It's a lot better here. So this does feature all of Fetus, oh not Fetus 6 3s yeah, Fetus 6 3s uh, Profi 6.7 features, so blasters, flashes, force effects. Feel the dark side, feel the strength, know the force flows through you. Smooth swing of force. Lock up is hold and clash for either, either or button. Which is responsive to the angle of the blade. Hold power, tap aux for lightning block. For tracks, you want to hold power for two seconds while the saber is off and let go. Now, if you do have multiple tracks, this does have a track player on there, so if you have tracks within the folder or font folder, you should be able to cycle through them and then select them with using the power button. And so, yeah. For multi-blast, you want to hold aux and let go for two seconds. And then you can just swing your saber for blasters. So, yeah. I believe that's the majority of the stuff. To get out of it, tap once more. Color changing, it's the opposite of lightning block, so hold aux, tap power. You just rotate to whatever save you'd like. To go back to the previous color, you can hit aux. If you want to fine tune a color, you can hold power and let go to confirm. For this, we're just going to go back. So, yeah, very, very cool font by Kyberphonic. Next up. This is the Prodigal Butcher. This was not originally on the Saber. This was added. Um, this Saber actually didn't have a lot of purple sound fonts on there, so I decided to go back in and the customer wanted um, some more purple fonts. And so I moved those kind of to the front because this is a Mara Jade lightsaber. And so this is the Prodigal Butcher, or the Revan sound font. <laughs> 
So this purple is a bit deeper. It lo almost looks like a deep, deep blue on camera, I'm sure. A lot of the same features. For this one, I did add a custom Revan track on there. So yeah, next up. This party's over. This is uh, Mace by, or I guess Mace by Kyberphonic from his Heroes pack. This was originally on the Saber as well. This was just moved up to the front. Also the same blade style. <laughs> This just has Duel of Fates on there. This is Anakin versus Obi Wan as the track. Next up, this is Durin Fire. This is my Cornhorn inspired sound font. This nice little pre on there. This has a white blade. Sounds really good on this saber. It has yellow blasters to conflict with the white. You can see a lot better here. Now with this font, Cornhorn could change his lightsaber color from silver to purple by twisting the crystals so which one was alignment. That kind of mimics this here with a color change direct, going from silver to purple. Yeah. This is hyperspace as the track. So yeah, next up. The last son of Mandalore. Now this hasn't been um, terribly advertised. I haven't actually done a review on this uh, font yet. This is my personal sound font called the Ronin, the last son, true son of Mandalore. Now this is my personal lightsaber. Um, I've made several versions of this lightsaber, but the perfected version is now up for sale for a limited quantity. So definitely go check it out. The Ronin. It has a mixture of prequel and original trilogy sound fonts or sounds. <laughs> quotes and stuff that my character would have encountered with other characters. You survived the purge. The last son of Mandola. Where did you get that lightsaber? This is the way men to Jedi. Cyrus Ronin of Clown Ronin. This has a really, really cool track on there as well. Mandalore in peril. After several attacks from Mandalorian freedom fighters, they am... So it has a uh, Clone Wars kind of inspired theme, which tells the, the story of Mandalore and whatnot. And so, yeah, next up. A lot of these, again, are just Corban defaults. I'll go to the one I, I added or changed. Only a Sith. Feel. If you will not turn to the dark side, then perhaps she will. This is returned by Kyberphonic. This is the V1 version on this saber. Um, now, this customer wanted to change it to a yellow lightsaber because he had a lot of green ones on the saber per se. And so, this is a yellow one, kind of um, similar to Luke Skywalker uh, wielded a yellow lightsaber during the comics. And so, yeah. <laughs> of course, it has an updated bard scene on there, as well as the track player. But yeah. Next up, little green friend. Um, we'll keep going to updated fonts. Lord Vader, I am Kanan J. This one was coded wrong. Um, this now has the correct silver blades. So yeah. I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. Same thing. This one had the, the wrong blade style. Now it has the correct um, Fed 263 Mando blade style. Persistence and the force is my ally. This is one he changed as well. This is actually Blue Survivor by Kyberphonic slash K Sith. Um, with this font, he wanted to change it from blue to orange because he liked that Jedi Fallen Order color. And so, yeah. Nice Jedi Fallen Order Fet263 blade style. Yeah. Ray Skywalker. As you see, <laughs> traitor! Prepare a boarding. Point. And last but not least, you have your passive battery monitor and, of course, the party blade. Luke. So 
that concludes the update for The Emperor's Hand by Corbanth. Of course, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the customer enjoys it. Have a wonderful day, and may the Force be with you.